Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day as always. I love how there's not one but two dogs. Oh my gosh. If you don't know me, my name's Cora. I talk about a ton of subjects on here. Make sure you subscribe to see when I upload. I am also way more active on TikTok, so follow me on TikTok if you haven't already. Today I wanted to post an update of my engagement ring. So it has been about two years since I got engaged, which I can't believe. Now if you don't remember, I uploaded a video all about my Moissanite engagement ring because this ring is not a diamond, it's Moissanite. There are some several reasons why someone would choose a Moissanite engagement ring. One of them being it's a more affordable alternative to a diamond ring. The other for me was that it's more ethical than getting a natural diamond. And the third is that lab grown diamonds can definitely get pricey fast. So Moissanite was definitely the best option for my fiance and I at the time, but there are also a lot of rumors about Moissanite that I wanted to clear up. The first being Moissanite sparks rainbows everywhere. So essentially it looks like glass. Now, like I mentioned, it's been two years since I got this ring and it's still in perfect condition. It looks like the day I got it. Another thing I've heard is that it depreciates in value over time. I have no plans to sell this ring, so that was not something I'm concerned about. But like I mentioned in my original video, natural diamond rings also depreciate in value. A ring that is sold because of a divorce has negative connotations, so oftentimes jewelers will not offer the full value of the ring. Now when I posted my original video, I got a ton of feedback about my vendor in particular, East West Gem Co. They are based in Charleston, South Carolina. It's been two years, and to this day, this ring has been nothing but absolutely perfect. I've gotten in the ocean with it, in the shower, I've cleaned it with Windex, I've dropped it, I've banged it against walls, and it still looks exactly like it did the day I got it. Like with any big purchase, even though Moissanite is more affordable than a diamond, it's important to do research about what vendor works best for you. Now, like I mentioned, I had a great experience with East West Gem Co. I had no issues, and there are also a ton of other Moissanite vendors to choose from. Do I wish I got a diamond ring? Sometimes I do wish I got a lab-grown diamond ring, but that's only because of things that people have said to me that are disparaging about Moissanite. But literally no one has ever been able to tell the difference. I'll even insert a natural diamond versus Moissanite comparison so you can see my ring versus a natural diamond. Once I got out of my head about the Moissanite factor, I really stopped caring what other people think. Something that you guys called out in my first Moissanite video was that Moissanite is its own gemstone. It's not a knockoff diamond. It is unique in its own way and really shouldn't be compared. It just looks similar to a diamond in case you want to go that option. Once that was clarified to me, it really changed my thinking around Moissanite rings. I'm not trying to have a knockoff diamond. This is a beautiful, unique ring on its own and a great option in case you don't want a diamond. So all that being said, after two years, I still really love my ring. And let me know, would you choose a Moissanite ring? Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.